Hello everybody, welcome back. We're the Champak family. And we try to change the negative narrative about Africa and Ghana in particular. What are your tips for young people currently located in Europe that want to move to Ghana? Um, Just do it. Do it. And especially in this moment, like nothing is sure in life. Yeah. Uh, people lose their jobs. People can uh, stay where they are. Uh, um, at this moment, people should be very flexible mm -hmm. or create the possibility to be flexible within the next coming years. Yeah. Um, so with that in mind, set everything at motion in order to get there yeah. and just take the risk i mean there's nothing to lose the only thing you can you can uh, say later on is wow i tried but yeah. i failed but because you failed you gained so much insight that the next time you're going to do it it's going to succeed True. or you're going to go in a different way with a whole lot of baggage of knowledge yeah so what's there to lose nothing yeah. trust me nothing and especially young, there's so many people I know of who, whose parents have villas here. <laughs> so why? Those are the people that ask myself, why are you still in the Netherlands? I mean, your mom and your dad build a beautiful house. Your dad built a house too, but it's yeah, but, and it's full of people. But listen, my dad built houses too, but it's, it's not, also it's full not of only people. that. It's not only that because I mean, yeah, the older generation uh, worked hard yeah. in the Western world to gain money. And to buy a house and everything, but it's not build. for every to, to build a house. But it's not for everybody from the youth mm -hmm. to come here and sit there and sit in the house on a location they might not like. I understand. So, but it's if you look at our process, right? If we just had a house in Accra where we could just stay in for like maybe two or three months before, it it will make everything that so would be much nice. easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it's Kumasi. But I understand the location because there, <laughs> yeah. there can be everywhere. It's, 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 it's all about location. Yeah. And if it's not about location and you feel like you can be anywhere because of remote work, for instance, or yeah. uh, digital work, um, then it's going to be very nice for yeah. you and very interesting for you. But to be honest, even if it's Kumasi, go. I mean, you're yeah, going to yeah, learn yeah, so yeah. much. No, I, I mean, Kumasi, I, I like, I I like Kumasi a lot, but the thing is, everything you want to do, and it's especially for the kids, yeah. It's in Accra. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like if all we the came, context we have and everything, it's, it's in, in Accra. Accra yeah. So going up back and forth the whole time, like the, the trip from like what is it, six, six hours, hours yeah. or with the car, but no, it's with, long. with That's flight, not with flight is like everything. Let's say three hours in total. Yeah. Um, Every time, that's not going to be doable. No, that's not what I mean. But I mean, like, if you, if we have came and settled in Kumasi for like three or four months before everything started, right? Yeah, we would have learned how to yeah, speak tree. True, true, you know, everything true. would be so much Different. easier if you just easier, yeah. start in Kumasi and then come to Accra to yeah. find your way. But anyway, yeah. if you have a house in Ghana, there is no way that you can say, "Oh." I'm still there in Europe. Come to Ghana. <laughs> Just try it at for at least five. six months, yeah? yeah? And then six, you, you can't say that, oh, I didn't try it. This is the best time. This is the best time to do it. I mean, yeah. Imagine yourself just... Sitting in lockdown. Ma, we were in lockdown, so I know how, how I it know, is. I know, of course, but lockdown... <laughs> of course, but lockdown in Ghana and lockdown in Europe is or America is very different. You feel... I don't different. know how, how it is to have a lockdown in the Bahamas or something like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> that would be more nice. <laughs> okay, next question. What is your favorite... Where is your favorite place in Ghana? That's um, very difficult. Uh, I would say... Well, I have some places, but it depends on with who. Okay. For um, my family, it's in Kumasi. Mm. Um, for being with my friends and everything and uh, with our people it's in Accra yeah and then for well being in a place where you can really relax to me in my opinion it's Axim yeah I think I haven't seen enough of Ghana to say that I have a favorite place I really like to be in Accra because everything happens here but then I really hate to be in Accra because it's so busy. <laughs> so when you are in another, like, let's say we, I went with Aaron to Lee Falls, right? Yeah. It's so peaceful, quiet. The air is different. It's just, it's just amazing. But mm -hmm. then would I want to live there? 
No. Why not? No, no, no. Why not? It's, it's too. You it, just need. It's the, too you, quiet. Really? There's nothing <laughs> happening. That even internet connection. Try. It. <laughs> what I hope for Ghana is that they can create more cities like Accra. That is my hope for Ghana. Yeah. Because I think I think, I think everybody is busy doing it. I mean, yeah. people try to do everything, forcing Accra, but Accra is Ghana getting is overpopulated, Accra. Yeah. and Accra, Accra is getting expensive, and there's more to Ghana than Accra. There are so many beautiful places, and those beautiful places are getting seen now, and people are starting to go into those places, starting to create businesses, uh, ventures and everything. So yeah. we'll, we'll, in, I think now, within now and the next five years, you'll see a lot of changes going on to the other places like Takwadi, Kumase, the mm -hmm. Northern region. I hope so. Uh, almost every region, there are things going on, uh, there. Going on at, th at this moment, investments mm. being made there, and we'll see a lot of things uh, popping up soon. Yeah. Okay, another question. Um, since your subscribers are growing, are you guys staying in Ghana or moving back soon? We already yeah. answered that question, <laughs> but we day here. <laughs> How do you say that? Ghana, we day. We day. We day. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm trying to leave the we pigeon. Ghana. I'm trying to leave right? the pigeon talk for later because I know the pigeon talk. If you do it too much, it will ruin your yeah. pronounce pronunciation of your normal okay, English. I know how to say it. Me free Ghana. Yeah. Okay. What free gun? Hey, I don't know, man. I don't know. I need three lessons. I need three lessons. Chill with the children. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are the struggles as a mixed race person in Ghana? Um, people see you as money trees. <laughs> True. Uh, number one. ATMs, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's I I find it fun because for me it's always like game time. <laughs> well, I find it difficult to, to like always because sometimes I feel like okay. I can pay this price for the product, but I know that I'm overpaying. I just like the person to be fair to me with their price. And then maybe when I feel like the person is doing a great job, I would like to give them something extra yeah. because it's from my but heart. But that's good. But but I feel like they always overcharge yeah, of me. Of course, of and course. And then I have to battle with a person. Yeah. I'm not into that. I just want you to tell me this is the price. If your well, service people, is good. People just try. Will, people are trying here. And for, and some, reason, for some reason, I can't blame it at, at, at one Point, but at the same point, I blame them because, in the end, if you keep doing that, you're 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 destroying your own market. Yeah. Because in the end, other people who are also trying to sell the same thing, non ghanaians for instance, they will settle for less. Yeah. And they will have more business in the end of the day. While you stay there with maybe one sale or nothing at all, and then start complaining, oh, business is bad. Yeah. Maybe look at how you try and interact with people and. Um, think of how fair is the price yeah. instead of going always for the highest price. I mean, yeah, it's something that you can do, but it's not the best strategy uh, in life. Yeah, and just give everybody the same price. I mean, DM for price and all that. Come on, why? <laughs> it's not necessary. I mean, on Instagram. No, everywhere. But just okay. Out. This is something I think we need yeah, to but try. This, eh? but let's, let's, I think we should do an experiment. What? We take one mixed race person, one black person, and one white person to go and buy five of the same items, items. and then see what happens. Yeah. Uh, it's a good vlog. Yeah, Thank you. You gave, me an, you gave me an idea. <laughs> what do you both do for a living in regards to careers, and where do you see yourself in the next five years? Our career is YouTube at the moment. Yes. <laughs> and where do we see ourselves... Uh, in five years on the top <laughs> <laughs> no to be honest Shooting i would like stars. true of course yeah. but for me i would like the channel to grow to a channel where we can travel through africa and show the beauty of africa yeah if that is if corona and all that could like settle down corona no corona i don't mind well no 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 i don't I mind don't no but that that Cor is where corona I is not stopping my life to to fully how do you say it? Emerge or fully get to its fully potential? Engaging, like, okay, true. Well, it blocks no. me a little. Sometimes I'm scared. Like I would, I, I wanted to go to Nigeria so long, but yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't know. It makes it. Corona makes everything a little bit more anxious. So I hope that in in let's say a year or something, it's it's settled down a bit, and then we can really travel and see Africa. Because to be honest, I have not seen a lot of Africa. Hmm. I have only know no, Ghana, yeah. Togo. And then that's it. That's it. Yeah. So I want to see more. That is my goal for 
uh, our YouTube career, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's another girl mentioned again. Oh. I don't like to... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one for you. You are a fan of Barcelona. Was you a fan since since Bruh. since Patrick Clavert? I was a fan of Barcelona well, the picture back in the days. Okay. Look, because I wear a wear jersey doesn't mean I'm a fan of that club. Okay. Just let me just let me just let me just let me just sum up some clubs I support. Yeah. Ajax, that's my that's my team. Fine. My team. No 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 no. The only thing I can cope with Feyenoord mm -hmm. is because the relationship with them and my grandfather. Okay. So I don't have any beef with Feyenoord or anything. Mm -hmm. Like no you normally as a support of Ajax we have. Mm -hmm. But I'm just cool with them. Okay. Because of my grandfather. Okay. That said, after Holland, I support Manchester United in, uh, in the UK. Mm -hmm. I support Juventus in Italy. I support Paris Saint Germain in uh, France. Uh -huh. And that's. But what about Ghana then? Look, I always support Kumasi. Okay. Doesn't matter what it is, I support Kumasi in the fullest. But to be honest, I don't know the difference. I haven't seen them playing and everything, so mm -hmm. I can't say that. And uh, maybe over the years it will grow. Okay, enough about football, please. But that's it. No, we no other things. <laughs> if you see me wearing that Barcelona shirt, it's from from the past. If you see me wearing a shirt from uh, Bayern Munich or anything, it's just because it's a football jersey. You love football, yeah. I like football, okay. so it doesn't matter which jersey the I wear. But there's away. some make a difference. Okay. You what? Nothing. You what? We would like to see <laughs> Kevin's mom versus Kevin's wife on Who Knows Kevin's Better. Hey. When would that be possible? That would be hard. That yeah. would be hard for the moment. I don't moment. think it's smart for Kevin's mom to travel no, right now. No, because she's already She's in, a little uh, older at, at already. Age and yeah. uh, I don't, we don't, our family don't want to expose her into any uh, type of corona uh, situations or whatever. Um, because if she get it while traveling, I could never, I could never cope yeah. with that. And nah. you'll see her soon. She lives in the Netherlands, so it will take some time. It will take some time. Patience. In the Kumasi <laughs> video, you said that the Kumasi mall doesn't have anything for children, and you wish that that could that you could take us to the Netherlands. Well, I don't see anything for kids in the mall here either. Could you be more specific on to what you were referring? Love y'all. Oh, thank you for that question. Mm -hmm. So, what I was referring to, I wish I could take you to the Netherlands. The way the Netherlands is built is that in each and every um, neighborhood, neighborhood community. community, I think they, they count the kids living there and then they build a playground for children. Yeah. Depending on how many kids in that area live, they build a playground. That playground is free. You don't pay entrance, the government maintains it. And kids just go there to play. To if play, it's winter, discover, if it's do sun, anything. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And all kids come together in all different, let's say, uh, financial background, ethnicity background. And the playground is just a very nice place for kids. Yeah. So in our neighborhood we used to live, there were about one... Uh, a lot. Five different playgrounds. Uh, your, uh, your place? Those. No, where we lived, in Sandom. Oh, in Sandom. Okay, uh, five no, more. Yeah, of course, more, more. but in like, walking distance walking from my distance, house, yeah. there were five different playgrounds we could choose off. Walking distance a, is like four minutes max. Stop. No, let's say five to ten if you wanted to go to the. No, but then there are more. Yeah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> so four, four minutes. A lot, four minutes. a lot of yeah. playgrounds. There was, um, how do you call that? Petting zoo? Uh, um, um, a farm? No? Is this a farm? I don't know how to explain it. It's like a little. A little place where um let's say sheep and ducks and <laughs> chickens a farm. it's a, a farm. farm yeah i don't know i think it's petting zoo i don't know how you call that anyway it's a place where small kids go and learn about animals and then there's a playground as well you can feed the dogs there's so many activities for kids and that is what i feel like of course i know that Ghanaian kids play differently and Ghanaian please kids play outside with any means possible but i just wish that there were also um, that the government would also notice that Create Ghanaian those things, kids um, needs play. It yeah. doesn't matter where it's, you come from. It's more that kids um, need play. It's, it's more that um, the moment you give kids the possibility to discover, to yeah. be free with their play, they learn so much more than being 
in a certain in a certain place where there are no really options except for creativity from the mind yeah. with the things they have. The moment you're outside, the moment you can interact with other children there and play soccer, basketball, whatever, or you can or create new things, play, imaginary yeah. things, or you have like um, additional pipelines or uh, um, hills to run on or anything. There's so much more they will create from it. There's so much more they will learn from it. There's so much more they will interact with each other. Yeah. Um, families will come there. People will love to go there. Yeah. Um, it becomes really something which helps the community grow. Yeah. And my point uh, there specifically is that the playground is free. That makes it that people of yeah. all ways of life come there. Exactly. And I want my kids, like when we go to playground here, you pay for it. I don't mind paying for it. I have the money. But what I don't like is that um, my kids only interact with kids who have the means to play there. But I want my kids to interact with all children Anybody. of any type like of standard. Like, for instance, what about the, the, the child that's <laughs> always begging on the streets? Yeah. Uh, what about child that's living somewhere uh, with his parents in the shed yeah I think that child will be very glad if there's even a small playground mm -hmm. somewhere in the neighborhood yeah. for him to just enjoy time and be a kid instead of just walking near the house and trying to make the best out of it yeah um, giving children opportunities is giving your whole country your whole economy in, in, in the future and, 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 and a better chance in becoming something greater than it is at the moment yeah. I think we should all be aware of the impact um, we as a generation make other generations make when it comes to kids by giving them opportunities to learn to develop to discover because um, it's endless and playing I think that is what uh, most Ghanaian people see different than people who Maybe that is education, I don't know. But playing is learning. Mm. Kids need play, it is education, but that's Social what interacts. Yeah. Uh, but I think a lot of Ghanaians don't really understand that. Because <laughs> when we were at your auntie's house, your auntie said, Micah plays too much, let him watch TV, it's better. <laughs> no, but that 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 that's different from 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 everybody. But it's I mean it's it's yeah it's a it's a mentality from the yeah, older generation. Older like generation. ah, why are you playing too much? Go watch the television. Then they watch cartoons the whole time as a zombie. But that it's is fine. Nice. It's good. But at the same time, at the moment, they're getting brainstormed. Uh, I mean, brainwashed with cartoons and yeah. kids. When they see a screen, it's like giving a kid an, an iPad to a kid. They can't process it very well, so their behavior will change when they're using it a lot, uh, just like watching television the whole time. Uh, that's not really... I think we can good. go on and on about the importance of play for kids, right? Yeah. We are very passionate about that, so... <laughs> maybe one day we get to open our playground, which is for free. It would be nice. Yeah. yeah. If you know any sponsors, comment down It'll below. Be nice. <laughs> I'm hooked on all things Ghana. What did Maya's channel introduce me to your family? I'm from Los Angeles and I've never been to Africa. Mm -hmm. How long of a visit should I stay for the first time to really get the feel of Ghana? Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks uh, and you get the best of Ghana. Um, either you plan everything ahead before you come or you semi-plan it, which means you come, you come with a structure and the rest you fix it up here yeah. um, to get the best out of your whole stay. Because there's a lot, of, a lot to do, but you have to take in consideration that a lot of things will take time uh, for traveling to it. Yeah. So keep that in mind and you will enjoy Ghana a lot. And please keep in mind that Ghana is not Accra. Yeah. <laughs> Ghana is not Accra. Yeah. What do you think about the demonstrations in the Netherlands? Is your family safe over there? Uh, I think the media yeah. has made it that it's way too much I think that they're referring to the demonstration due to the lockdown that yeah, the yeah. kids were rioting yeah, and rioting. all that. It is not as bad as shown on the media. I mean, my mom still does, does everything. Your mom is still okay. Yeah. Everybody's but okay. People are frustrated. Yeah. It's it's mainly the youth that's frustrated. Yeah. Because um, every time the rules have been sharp and sharp and sharp, yeah. and they feel like this is enough. Yeah. But. At the same time, what I really like about uh, about uh, the communities is that 
like people from my generation or even guys from from and girls from from uh, uh, the current youth they just stand up and start interacting with other people who are maybe planning to do something yeah. and prevent them just to tell them listen this is not going to help you the moment you get cut this and this could happen this yeah. and this is going to affect your career or your possibilities so think about it and this this is going to affect your family because of your decision so things even now settling down yeah so that's a good thing right but just stay wise and then stay safe yeah. and think about your but i can understand the frustration for people who are not living like minimum wage or lower because it's very difficult to be in the netherlands in lockdown in uh, a, a flat in a where you're not building. able to go out and not With able to a get a family fresh of six yeah, yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah, frustrating it's, uh, so if if that is you in that situation i understand your frustration and i understand your anger i understand you're going mad but please just think of yourself first yeah, yeah. i didn't know you had an ig page what is it the Achampong family. <laughs> Your family is awesome. Are you guys Muslims or Christians? Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. So, when you were born and yeah. everything, what, what, what? Well, my mom was raised Catholic, yeah. but she she deregisters from the church okay yeah it was too much for her and she didn't want to okay live like that anymore but i was basically raised to learn how to love other people and love myself that's very so good. in my eyes god is love and i don't really that's have a religion good. that's very good um in my case uh the religion i got from home is catholic mm -hmm. um but i really opened myself into learning a lot about religions um, so during the last couple, no, last couple of years, but my entire life, I've been several times to the mosque mm -hmm. uh, for Quran studies with my cousin, uh, just out of interest. Yeah, um, me too. I'm very intrigued about the Quran and I've, the way that they say that yeah. the story stays the same because the person that tells the story is singing it, and you so can't change the song. So it's not possible to change it yeah, or anything. So I'm really and it's a book of that. how to live live your yeah. life um but at the same time i've um got things from buddhism i've mm. got things uh um from uh the hillsong yeah the hillsong, hillsong was uh, our church, uh, our church. Oh, that was my that was, that's that's our church yeah. in uh, the netherlands yeah. um that's really our where i feel like um that's why i it's get to community. an higher level yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well. it's it's very it's very peaceful because everything is so structured and well done that you drop your kids your kids are happy <laughs> you don't need to think about oh are they good are they safe are they happy and you just get to listen to the word and focus just on yourself mm -hmm. and there's no clothes of ruling that you have to wear this even the pastor was wearing ripped jeans and yeah. everybody's just united you can and, just be yourself yeah. and while um, getting better to know your maker getting yeah. close to him and, and knowing how to follow your life in a way that's healthy and good for you and yeah. good for the whole I uh, do world. Need to yeah. Yeah. So those were the questions. Really? We going through. Yeah. Wow. There are a lot of questions wow. for the kids. Wow. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll film that one. Uh, yeah. I think after this. Very soon. Eh, eh, I have to go and pick them. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, let me go and pick the kids from school <laughs> <laughs> and see you guys soon. Thank you for having us. Make sure you Thank subscribe you to the much. channel if you made it this far. And uh, yeah, follow our journey. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.